Welcome to Streaming Into the Voids, What's New in Streaming, where we discuss the highlights of what's available for you to stream the week of June 15th. I'm Kim Hollis, and with me are Raul Burriel, Tim Bridey, and David Mumpower. We'll start with Hulu and Cult Massacre, One Day in Jonestown, a complete limited series coming June 17th. This docuseries tells the story of an idealistic religious organization led by the infamous Jim Jones, who set out to establish a utopian community in Guyana. Told by survivors and eyewitnesses, along with rare footage and rare Jim Jones recordings, the series looks into the final harrowing hours leading up to one of America's darkest chapters. Nope. Do not want. Nope. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is also not super happy. It's Perfect Wife, The Disappearance of Sherry Papini, a limited series coming June 20th. (sighs) Keith and Sherry Papini's seemingly idyllic family life is shattered when Sherry vanishes from their Northern California neighborhood, triggering a frenzied search that becomes news around the world. Who hurt you, Hulu? (laughs) At least we have this. It's Shorzy, season three, coming June 21st. Shorzy and the team continue their quest to never lose again. Dear Atlanta Braves, please follow this wisdom. Anyway, the Sudbury Blueberry Bulldogs compete in the National Senior Tournament, facing off against teams from across Canada. There will be fun, sex, and lots and lots of swearing. (laughs) Correct. All right, we'll move on to Netflix and Miss Night and Day, season one, coming June 15th. In this Korean series, a woman who magically switches between her 20s and 50s lands an internship at the prosecution service caught between two generations and a tough boss. That's pretty much Kimberly Hollis every day of her life. (laughs) (laughs) It's a comedy. It looks cute. Okay, next up on June 18th is Agents of Mystery Season 1. Six, quote unquote, Agents of Mystery who have excellent chemistry must solve paranormal mysteries within six hours, relying on their quick thinking and teamwork. This Korean reality series features comedians, actors, and singers who work together. Also on June 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time is Dinner Time Live with David Chang, another live episode. Wait, we did this last week as well, right? Yep. Chef David Chang hosts another unfiltered dining experience as he cooks for celebrity guests and shares culinary secrets. Another June 18th release is Outstanding, a comedy revolution. This explores the history of LGBTQ plus stand-up comedy in a funny and heartfelt documentary featuring personal stories from an all-star roster of performers. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Next up on June 19th is Black Barbie. Hey, you're you're like a year late on this one, Netflix, but discover Mm -hmm. the untold story of the first Black Barbie and the pivotal role three trailblazing women at Mattel had in creating a doll who looked like them. Yeah, it's a pretty heartwarming trailer. Looks really nice. Another June 19th release is Inheritance. In this Polish comedy, when their rich uncle passes, his mansion of intricate puzzles becomes the backdrop for his estranged family's quest to secure a portion of his wealth. Also on June 19th is Love is Blind, Brazil, season four. In this season, singles, once engaged or married, explore new romantic possibilities and make deep connections without seeing each other first. They're just going to do every possible language of that, aren't they? Next up is Klex Academy, coming June 19th. Okay, this one sounds fun. It's a Polish film wherein a girl tries to find her missing father. The seemingly ordinary person accepts an invitation to attend a magical academy run by an eccentric teacher named Mr. Klex. Mr. Klex is totally her dad, right? (laughs) I hadn't thought so, but possibly. Yeah, it's a great looking fantasy film, actually. America's Sweethearts, Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders is coming on June 20th. An unfiltered look at the auditions, training camp, and full NFL season of the Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders. What else do you need to know? (laughs) Are the cheerleaders all in as well, or is that just the lie Jerry Jones is saying about the football tank? (laughs) (laughs) Also on June 20th is The Accidental Twins. Two sets of identical twins switched at birth in Colombia explore their complex history and new identities in this captivating documentary. I just know there's executives at Netflix right now looking at The Accidental Twins and saying, I have the best idea for Love is Blind Colombia. (laughs) 
Coda Factory Season 3 is coming June 20th. In this Indian series, as the all-important exam nears, G2 and the students face an uphill challenge with ambition, loss, and grueling pressure taking their toll. On June 21st is Gangs of Galicia Season 1. In this Spanish series, when her father's murderer reveals a hidden double life, a lawyer seeks revenge by infiltrating a Galician drug cartel and becoming close to its leader. Trigger Warning will debut on June 21st. Jessica Alba stars as a special forces commando who takes ownership of her father's bar after he suddenly dies and soon finds herself at odds with a violent gang running rampant in her hometown. All right, our last new Netflix release is The Victim's Game coming June 21st. After a four-year wait, this Chinese language series returns with a new season. Just as Fang Yi Jin prepares to start a new life with his daughter, he gets entangled in a murder case and becomes a prime suspect. All right, we move on to Max and the big release of the week, which is House of the Dragon season two coming June 16th. Westeros is on the brink of a bloody civil war with the Green and Black Councils fighting for King Aegon and Queen Rhaenyra, respectively, as each side believes theirs is to be the rightful seat to the Iron Throne. That doesn't sound real. (laughs) A lot of people have seen it already and have said it's very good. So be interesting to see what the public believes. On June 18th is Here to Climb. Yes, this documentary chronicles the barrier-breaking journey of world-class rock climber Sasha DeJulian. And then our final new Max release is Slave Play. Not a movie, a play coming June 20th. Okay, uh, Slave Play was one of Broadway's most celebrated genre-bending and daring productions, breaking records and receiving critical acclaim for tackling race, sex, and interracial relationships in a way never before seen on stage. In this playful and provocative documentary, playwright Jeremy O. Harris takes viewers behind the scenes from run-throughs to performance as he strips down his own work and directs new actors through workshop rehearsals. On Paramount Plus, it's the Tony Awards coming June 16th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. It will also air on CBS. Show-stopping performances are on dock from such shows as Eddie Redmayne in Cabaret and Daniel Radcliffe, Lindsay Mendez, and Jonathan Groff, all nominated for Merrily We Roll Along. And as has probably been mentioned here before, I'm a huge fan of Jonathan Groff, so we'll watch. On Peacock, one that was released last week, but we didn't know until this week, was Monkey Man, which debuted on the service on June 14th. Def Patel co-wrote, directed, and starred in this critically acclaimed film. After years of suppressed rage, Kid, played by Patel, discovers a way to infiltrate the enclave of the city's sinister elite. And... This week on Peacock, it's WWE, Clash at the Castle, Scotland, coming June 15th. Drew McIntyre looks for revenge and has already warned CM Punk to stay out of it. He has a title match with World Heavyweight Champion Damian Priest. There is also Bailey versus other Scottish wrestler Piper Niven, who is completely underrated. It's an international pay-per-view for WWE. The crowd will be on fire as they were in the past, so it'll be fine. It's Drew McIntyre at home, basically. So. Yeah, pretty much, yes. yes. They're smart enough to put the belt on him here, right? They're not going to be that dumb that they would deny him. I think you kind of have to. It really does depend if Punk is there to screw him over. Yep. Otherwise, it's like, what was the point of Priest cashing in and then just yep. you know, only having it for a couple months? So I could, I don't know what they'll do. Yep. <laughs> Kim agrees. All right. <laughs> yep. Let's move on to Amazon Prime Video and Power of the Dream coming June 18th. Produced by WNBA legend Sue Bird, this documentary shows how WNBA team The Atlanta Dream took on a sitting U.S. senator who also co-owned the team during the height of the Black Lives Matter movement to eventually elect current Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock instead. This is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. On June 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, it's the Yankees on Prime Video. The New York Yankees will take on the Baltimore Orioles. 
this is a little bit of a testament to how complicated streaming rights has become for sporting events, specifically for Major League Sports. As a Yankees fan who would want to catch every Yankees game at this point needs to subscribe to multiple different streaming services and then also watch some games on broadcast TV. This can prove to be very frustrating, but I've actually seen something very interesting on the Roku dashboard recently where baseball games are showing up as tiles on your Roku dashboard, not streaming services, hmm. just the games themselves. And then when you click on it, it'll tell you this game is available on and it'll tell you which services you can watch it on. I think really that is the right approach. Now, the Roku itself is not being very smart because it's telling me about a bunch of streaming services I'm not subscribed to. But as it gets smarter, these are the details they could iron out later, telling you what programming is available first and then determining how you can watch it on what streamer I think is the right approach. I think it's the future. And to your first point, the Yankees are playing the Dodgers this weekend. And the game that was last night as we record this was, of course, on Apple TV Plus. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, on June 20th, it's Federer, 12 final days. Following the last 12 days of the career of a tennis player considered the best ever. And he really is. I love Roger Federer. I'm a huge fan. I watched him through his career. I was pretty dedicated as a fan, along with Rafa Nadal, who I also love. I will watch this. On June 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, it's the WNBA on Prime Video. See the Los Angeles Sparks and Rakea Jackson as they visit the New York Liberty. That's right, folks. That name again, Rakea Jackson, <laughs> Pride University of Tennessee. That's right. Okay, we have a MGM Plus release, everybody. It's Hotel Cocaine Season 1, coming June 16th. Okay, none of this is real, the streaming service included. The Mutiny Hotel becomes the epicenter of the Miami cocaine scene in the late 70s and early 80s. At the center of it all is general manager Roman Compte, a Cuban exile, doing his best to keep it all going and fulfill his own American dream. First you get the hotel, then you get the sugar? Is that how that goes? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this, is this Grand Theft Auto Vice City the show? <laughs> That would actually make people watch, <laughs> right? It does have Michael Chiklis and some faces you'd recognize if you didn't know the names necessarily. So interesting. All right. Well, of course, we'll be watching House of the Dragon. I am all about Federer Final 12 Days because I just am a huge, huge, huge fan of him. And that's probably about it. We'll probably watch Shorzy eventually, though we haven't really watched it other than clips on YouTube. And then I'll throw in the fact that I wanted to see Monkey Man in theaters. Kim wasn't having it, but I love Deb Patel. I think he's an absolute superstar, so I'll watch this. And then obviously, I think all of us will eventually get to House of the Dragon season two. So go watch something. <laughs> 